We have gotten so many orders from public safety clients for this recently released DJI drone, but it's not even an enterprise model? Last August, DJI launched the Avada FPV drone. And after months of very high demand, we were finally able to get our hands on a demo unit to show you guys why it is so popular with law enforcement and public safety personnel. Starting with the basics, the Avada can record video at 4K resolution up to 60 frames per second and 2.7K up to 120 frames per second. But what's more important is the specs on these goggles. This is DJI's second iteration of FPV goggles, which they are simply calling the Goggles 2. The first generation goggles will also work with the Avada, but we highly recommend this updated version for a number of reasons. In addition to being lighter and more compact, they also feature very low latency and the highest signal penetration of any FPV goggles currently on the market, meaning your video transmissions maintain a feeling of real time without interruptions. Pilots can view the feed in 1080p and up to 100 frames per second for a comfortable and smooth flying experience. DJI also advertises a 10 kilometer broadcast range, which is well beyond what would be a practical distance for operating the drone. The battery is good for about 18 minutes of sustained flight time, so you'll want to make the minutes count, but this is still pretty decent for this category of drone. And flight is made easily accessible to first-time pilots by several of the Avada's features. While the drone does not feature any horizontal obstacle avoidance sensors, the props and body are enclosed by a single mold guard piece, which in our testing does an impressive job of keeping the aircraft in flight in spite of incidental collisions. For the ground, the drone does have these two sensors to maintain a safe distance during flight, giving operators added peace of mind. New to the Avada is the DJI Motion Controller. In our opinion, no other controller has had this low of a bar for entry into the drone flying market, easy enough for a child to use. That being said, the Avada also supports the DJI FPV Remote Controller 2, for those who want more flexibility from their flights and maybe a more traditional FPV drone experience. What's really cool though is that with either controller, the Avada features a hover in place functionality, which is familiar to pilots of most other consumer drones but uncommon among FPV drones. Again, this just makes the drone easier for anyone to use. So now that you have an idea of what the Avada is, what is it that makes this drone so attractive for public safety applications? Simply put, everything we just described makes this drone specifically optimized for indoor use. Operators can confidently fly into areas they couldn't safely reach with a lower risk of crashes. And even in the event that the Avada does end up on its back, the pilot can simply activate the drone's turtle mode to quickly get back into an upright position and ready to fly again. With all that in mind, the list of possibilities is extensive, but we here at ArmUS took it a step further. How difficult would it be to operate the Avada in dark spaces? Well, the video is definitely hindered by poorly lit environments, but this is something that some third parties have at least tried to address in years prior. We took these lightweight LED lights from a Mavic Pro accessory kit issued by PGY Tech and fabricated a mount to fasten them onto the Avada. Take a look for yourself. It's not too bad. And from what we can tell, didn't really have a negative effect on the flight characteristics. This is obviously a very exciting new drone and we look forward to bringing you more videos on it. Let us know what features you'd like us to explore in future videos and is the Avada the right tool for your line of work? As always, stay tuned to this channel for more on this little guy and everything else drones and robotics.